Hi everyone, it's Winnie Apple. A uh, long time no see. I've been away for about three weeks or so, or I haven't filmed in three weeks, so I'm feeling kind of awkward, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, I am back. I was traveling uh, around Europe for two and a half weeks for vacation, but I'm back. Uh, and I, for my first video back, I wanted to do kind of to ease myself back into filming because um, yeah, I've, I've been finding myself procrastinating a bit with making a new video, but um, I thought it'd be kind of like fun to film a room tour. Uh, I've been getting a lot of um, comments and requests from people uh, from recent videos asking me to do um, just like a tour of my room. Uh, I don't really know what to call it. I just call it my office, but uh, I guess it's kind of a bit of an art studio because this is where I make my art, um, but it's also where I do my like work work when I work from home. So I'm just gonna call it my <laughs> my artist's room. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, for those of you who are new here, hi, I'm Rainy Apple. I'm a a digital illustrator and webcomic creator. I am currently working on a webcomic. It's called Heart on a Steel Canvas. Um, I've not yet released it, but I'm going to release it very soon, soon I swear. Um, I'm just trying to build a bit more of a backlog. I'm still debating how much of a backlog I want to make, but yeah, that's besides the point. Um, today I am doing a room tour, so um, I thought about how I wanted to do this. It's gonna be pretty casual, uh, and I want it to be very, like, detailed, so I'm literally gonna take you through everything. Um, I very quickly went through my drawers and stuff just to make sure there's nothing weird sitting around in there, um, but aside from that, I haven't really touched much, so, um, it'll kind of be like a, a cool, I guess, rediscovery for me of my room as well. Um, yeah, hopefully maybe if you, some of you are looking to decorate your own rooms or uh, are trying to get some ideas, this might give you some inspiration. Um, and yeah, I wouldn't say I'm super organized, but I do try and organize my stuff, so maybe it'll help give you some organization inspiration as well. Okay, let's get started. Aww, and Ellie's in my room too. We're, uh... So it's football season and my boyfriend is watching football very loud. <laughs> I have my door closed so that hopefully you can't hear it, but um, yeah, Ellie doesn't like the noise either, so she's gonna stay in here with me. Um, okay, where, where, where do I even start? Uh, how about my desk? Because I guess that's where I spend my time, I suppose. So, um, I, this chair is actually kind of new, I've had it for like... Oh, I've had it for like, um, I don't know, maybe half a year now. I was using this, so I very specifically wanted like a light green chair. I had a light green chair before this one from Ikea. Uh, I, I don't know if any of you've seen it before. It's this kind of like dinky little, <laughs> this dinky little chair. And I was using that for like ages, years. Um, but I think it was giving me some back problems. So I found one that's a little more... Thank you, Ellie. <laughs> uh, a little more ergonomic. Um, this one, I think I got it just honestly just off of Amazon. It wasn't too expensive, um, but yeah, it does the job. Um, okay, so uh, this thing, this is actually what I've been using. It's kind of like an arm to do like overhead filming of my illustrations and stuff for YouTube. Um, super handy. Um, I just kind of leave it there so that I don't need to put it away and put it back. Um, 
I do have a three monitor setup. One of them is actually a, a Huion. I used to do a lot more um, art in Clip Studio Paint. So uh, at some point I got this, I actually got the second hand off of Kijiji. Um, a monitor tablet, uh, but now that I've been using Procreate on my iPad a whole lot more, I, I rarely draw on Clip Studio anymore. Um, it's just kind of become a third monitor, which is fine. Um, I found a second use for it. Um, and yeah, um, I have a mic. I haven't actually been using it all too often. I don't know why I got it. I think, yeah, I don't know. I was maybe, oh, uh, at some point I was doing kind of like drawing live stream stuff. Yeah, that's probably where I got it. It was a while ago. Um, and then this is my webcam that I've been using kind of like as my second camera for filming when I do like draw with me kind of stuff. Um, and then similar here, I got a, a green, like a mint green lamp forever ago, also from Ikea. I will say, I'm pretty sure, I'm just taking a look around. Most of my furniture is actually just IKEA furniture, so um, yeah, super affordable. It all works, it does the job. Um, and then yeah, I've been slowly kind of building up a little Miffy collection. Um, and I don't know, just like having those like little trinkets on my desk makes me happy. Um, and yeah, this, uh, this clock is actually new. I actually got it specifically for my nine hour draw drawing video. I thought it'd be cool to have like a clock on my desk. It kind of like fit the vibe, but um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's really cute. It has kind of like, I don't know if you can see, like it actually lights up on the side like a house. Super cute. Um, and yeah, uh, this mouse, so I used to use a normal mouse, but I started getting um, like, wrist and arm, upper arm problems, and so my sister, uh, Lee Chet, suggested I switch to like an ergonomic mouse. You hold it like this, and it actually fixed the issue. Um, it just lets you hold the mouse in a more, like, in a way that's more natural to how your arm wants to sit on a table. So yeah, <laughs> and of course I had to get it pink. Okay, uh, moving over here. So I do have a bookshelf, but I kind of like put some overflow books over here, but um, it's kind of, I'd say this is like my children's book corner. So for a while, I, uh, I was very into children's book illustration. Um, I would go to the library very often to get inspiration and just kind of study what other people were doing. But um, I did kind of like build up a bit of my own collection. Um, I'm sure, or maybe those of you who aren't, who haven't picked up a children's book in a very long time, but one very famous children's book illustrator right now nowadays is Oliver Jeffers. So um, I have a few of his books. Um, John Clausen is another one here. Oh, so this is actually a baby book, but I thought it was so cool. I'm sure you recognize this character. Yeah. <laughs> I think he was like a meme for a while, but it's a, it's a children's book story. Um, so yeah, and then I have in kind of like mix in between, I have Hokusai, uh, kind of like a collection of his um, his wood wood carving prints. Um, and then I got this as a gift from a friend for my birthday. Just like it's actually a collection of Studio Ghibli fan art. It's actually not made by Studio Ghibli which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and then, yeah, just some other random, um, I'm kind of into woo-woo kind of stuff. I like moon phases and like the universe and all that. So I do have books like that here and there. Um, okay, back here. Oh, these are just, um, uh, cause I was studying Japanese with my younger sister. So we were, uh, I just like put my like worksheets in there. I didn't know where else to put it, so I just put it there. And then this, um, it's kind of like my travel carry with me, like uh, for my art. I put my tablet in here. I also bring along my um, my portable uh, keyboard for like if I want to actually like write my script and story. If I'm feeling, I don't know, like writing. And then I think I also have a matching. Oh yeah, uh, like a matching mouse and stuff. So 
uh, makes it just easier to type and write and use my tablet, kind of like a, a laptop, I guess. Okay. Um, what's up here? This is kind of... <laughs> I'll be honest, so this is like kind of like a junk drawer. Sometimes I save like old boxes that I get because um, I like to use them to organize stuff in my drawers, so that's kind of that. And then this one... Oh! This is where I keep my stuff, my old stuffed animals. I had like, I don't know if you've heard of it, uh, like a Sumiko Gurashi phase. So I have Sumiko Gurashi and then um, this one. So this is, uh, it look he looks a little tattered, but um, that is my childhood stuffed animal. His name is Doggy. <laughs> I know, super, super creative, but um, yeah, I, I just, it, I, I have such a hard time letting go of stuffed animals. I, I don't think I'll ever be able to let them go, to be honest, so I just kind of like put them in a box. Um, but yeah, so that's that. All right, I'm actually gonna go under my desk because, so what I did is I took these kind of, what's it called? This Ikea shelf? Shelf, yeah, and I like stacked them um, to kind of have this like cool L like L-shaped desk situation here um, but underneath so I I get cold very easy <laughs> um, so I so this is kind of like a what is what are they called Udi's my boyfriend got it for me it's this like ginormous hoodie um, and then I put all my blankets that's actually a heated blanket in there spare slippers, pillow if I'm feeling nappy and I just want to nap on the floor, which I do sometimes. Um, and then this is my computer. So I actually, um, I bought a gaming computer, a tiny one, an MSI gaming one in 2018. Um, and then I brought it to, I didn't do it myself, um, I brought it to a Memory Express to help me kind of like take some, most, most of it, um, like the the motherboard and whatever, um, but just kind of like replace some parts like the the memory and like a new graphics card and all that, a new power supply, and then we recased it. And so, yeah, that's my computer. That's my baby. Um, I hope you like my cable management. <laughs> I tried. Uh, it's a little messy, but <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I clicked something. Okay, so that is my desk. All right, I'm gonna go over here. So this is a kind of like a, I, I use it as part of my desk or whenever I have kind of like overflow material or food, I'll just kind of like stick it over here. Um, but yeah, I have a, there's my little plant. I haven't named it. I, I actually used to have a little succulent, but for some reason it was just not doing so hot and it was kind of falling apart. So I did, uh, I did have to say goodbye, but this one's been doing very well. It's been about a month or so, so stay strong, buddy. <laughs> this, okay, so this Miffy, for those of you who watch my videos regularly, may notice that this is a new addition to this area of my room. Um, I picked Miffy up uh, when I stopped at the Amsterdam airport uh, while I was on my Europe trip. I am, well, I'm sure you can tell, I'm kind of obsessed with Miffy right now. <laughs> so, uh, I kind of it just kind of hit me that Miffy was created in in the Netherlands, um, and so there were a lot of Miffy gift stores, and I literally had a like a meltdown, <laughs> and then I uh, I might have spent a little too much on Miffy stuff, but yeah, uh, this is my new Miffy buddy on my desk. Um, this is actually um, kind of like a coin collector thing. I actually got it like forever ago. My friend, my childhood friend in junior high got it for me and I've just like kind of had it ever since. Um, some pens and stuff. I used to do a lot more um, like watercolor, like real watercolor um, painting. So I, uh, I do have some brushes here. I haven't touched my actual watercolors in a long time though, just cause I am primarily digital artist now. Okay. Um, and then maybe, okay, I'll do drawers later. 
let's go over to my bookshelf. So uh, I've got my little garbage bin. Of course it has to be pink because to fit the aesthetic. Uh, I have a, just a paper shredder in the corner here. That's actually my boyfriend's, but we just kept it in here because he doesn't really have his own office. Technically we have a spare room, but he doesn't like to work in like confined space. So he just works on the kitchen counter and he's happy with that. Uh, we just left the other room for my dog. We call it Ellie's room. There's like a giant bean bag in there. It's yeah. And she's just like this tiny dog and this is a huge bean bag. It looks so funny. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I got another Miffy. Oh my gosh. You wouldn't believe there were these like giant miffies and I was so tempted to to pick one up but I'm like oh my god there's no way I can walk around with this big miffy with just like a travel uh, travel suitcase so I left it but maybe if I go back one day um this is where the rest of my plants are in my room uh, this is actually an offshoot like uh, I took it from this plant and I like propagated it and it's doing pretty well. This is also um, propagated from that bigger monstera plant we have downstairs. I have a clock. Um, and yeah, where should I start? Okay, so I do have some spare like watercolor paper and stuff from when I did more watercolor painting. Some old sketchbooks and then I did mention in my last video, so I'm a big journaler. I think I started journaling in 2019, um, about a journal a year, maybe not so much recently, but um, these three, each, I kind of like alternate colors, my favorite colors. So I'll do like one year's pink, one year's green, one year pink. Um, so these are my, my journals um, and then some other spare notebooks and stuff. Um, and yeah, uh, I, so, I think I've mentioned it uh, in the past, but, or maybe not in a video, but on my Instagram for sure. I love Animal Crossing. I'm like, I got my very first console when I was in university, which is crazy, but my first console, it was a 3DS. And the only game I got for it was Animal Crossing New Leaf. And I just like absolutely fell in love. I was so into it. Um, so of course I had to get New Horizons when it came out. Um, but yeah, these are literally like the only games that I have. Um, and then I do do some, like, PC gaming every now and then, but not really. Um, but yeah, my very small game collection. And then, um, yeah, this is kind of, like, <laughs> a weird mix of books. And, uh, these two, these two are actually, so, the, I, I don't know if you know what they are, but I, ha I do have tarot cards. I don't use these regularly. Um, this was actually a gift, same with this one, but um, I do like to keep them around for good vibes. <laughs> um, I will show you my actual tarot deck later once we start getting into my drawers, the one that I use more regularly. Um, the Tao of Pooh, oh my gosh, um, such a sweet book, I would highly recommend it. Um, these two manga um, I picked up when I went to visit Montreal for my birthday. This one, I didn't even know Miyazaki made a, an um a manga but i think he just made this one i don't know if he ever made any others it's called chuna's journey and oh my gosh i'm gonna just open this up real quick because i want to show you i feel like it just like resonated a lot with me because it's very similar to how i like to make my comics just kind of like more sketchy like loose art or just like pencil and watercolor and it's just like gorgeous like absolutely like it just looks so alive it kind of looks like the concept art for studio ghibli films but they just like turned it into a story yeah that's beautiful so um i absolutely had to pick this up <laughs> okay i'm just gonna slide that back Oh, and then uh, this is an art book I got from uh, the Halifax Museum. There was a mu an art museum in Halifax um, that had, I don't know if you've heard, it, it was on T um, Netflix, an indie film, indie Canadian film called Maudie. Um, and I got to see Maudie's little house um, in that museum. So I had to pick up her, her art book with her iconic little flowers and birds and stuff. 
what's up? <laughs> okay. Um, next. So I, uh, I've mentioned in past video, but I studied geology, um, for my university degree. I did, uh, I kind of had a phase where I was like collecting rocks and crystals and stuff. So, um, I just kind of like keep them over here. So that's that. Um, of course, I have Marie Kondo's The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. Um, uh, yeah, some taro. I did, uh, I mentioned in my last video, I love Alan Watts. Most of his books that I've purchased are actually on my Kindle, but, um, I did come across this, this one. It's kind of like a, a compilation of some of his, like, sayings and stuff. Like, some quotes that he has, so I picked it up. Um, this one is actually such a fun picture book I found. Um, last time I went to visit my family in Japan. <laughs> Just such a silly, like, doodle book. I don't know how to describe it. Um, yeah, I'm obviously not going to go through every single book, but this is kind of what's on my bookshelf. I'm not a big collector of, like, manga. Um, I tend to just grab maybe like one copy from a series that I like or um, they're often gifted to me but I really do love collecting really beautiful hardcovers which is why like I just picked this up maybe right before I left on my trip but um by Inio Asano his uh girl on the shore I just like I saw it and I was like how could I not like this is gorgeous so um I do have a copy of that um, and then over here, so one of my, uh, somebody who was watching a video left a comment saying that, uh, asking if I had the Genki textbooks on my bookshelf, and I was like, yes, <laughs> how can you tell from so far away? But, um, I guess they do kind of have, like, a very iconic design. Um, I got these in university. Uh, they are, well, they're, you can see they're very well-loved. I've used them even after graduating. I just find learning Japanese from textbook is, I don't know, I prefer it. I I, I like understanding why I'm saying what I'm saying and how the language breaks down versus using something like a Duolingo. Um, but yeah, so I've kept them around. I have an Inio Asano uh, art book. This is backwards, I don't know. Um, and then of course, Making Comics by Scott McCloud. If you are completely new to making comics, web comics, graphic novels, manga, um, would highly, highly, highly recommend. Like, it is just such a comprehensive guide. Um, extremely helpful. I use tips from it all the time to this day. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So on the side, um, it is. So these are magazines. Um, from Japan. I like to pick up at least one fashion magazine each time I go. When's this from? 2014. Wow, okay, this one's kind of old. Um, I used to be obsessed with this girl. <laughs> uh, Ayumi Sato, she's kind of like a Harajuku fashion icon. Um, she used to like go on the streets and like wear super cool outfits and then um, Zipper Magazine actually picked her up. There's Kiari Pamiu Pamiu. Um, but I would pick up these magazines um, as like drawing reference. Um, as you, some of you may know, I love like uh, drawing like fashion illustration, like specifically cute girls in cute outfits. Um, so I would uh, pick these up. This is like before, I don't know if Pinterest was a thing back then. But um, yeah, I'd pick these up and then kind of like use them as reference uh, to draw like Girl, cute girls and cute outfits and poses and stuff. Yeah. Japanese graphic design is so different, but it's so cool at the same time. Just like how they mix English text with Japanese text. It just like has such a cool look to it. I don't know, but yeah, that's, uh, this is my, uh, Japanese magazine collection. Okay. Um, so these two wooden kind of, uh, I don't know what to call them, file, file holder thingies. Um, I just put my, uh, documents in there, just like, um, like vehicle stuff or like, I don't know, whatever, just kind of 
everyday administration kind of documents. I try to be as paperless as possible, but, um, and I do mean to kind of digitize them at some point, but for now they are just sticking in there. Um, okay, so these, this is kind of a mix. I guess these are more of my, yeah, so I have more Alan Watts over here. Um, I did mention in my previous video, I, I really like um, reading about Eastern ways of thought and specifically spirituality. So um, I do have some Buddhism, kind of Taoism type books. Um, and then uh, I do have, I'm sure you've seen kind of sprinkled around just like books about art, like make your art or like share your art. Um, I think most of them have been uh, gifts from my boyfriend. <laughs> just to like help encourage me, which is really sweet. Um, I've definitely mentioned Atomic Habits before. Um, another art book. This one's actually really, really cool. I found it at a small bookstore, but um, uh, I don't know if any uh, of you follow Kotaro Chiba on Instagram or anywhere else, but um, I found their like illustration, illustrated, very traditional Japanese folktale book. So I had to pick it up. Um, and then of course I have a copy of The Giving Tree. Um, internet modem. This is kind of like uh, a charging station, I guess. Yeah, that's what, what I'll call it. Um, and then just some more, there was one more Oliver Jeffers children's book. Uh, this is another ch children's book illustrator uh, slash just general illustrator that I really love from Japan. Um, I found this one last time I visited actually at a, at a used bookstore. I think it was like a book off. Um, yeah. And then uh, some, some Studio Ghibli art books. Uh, I think pretty much all of them have been gifts. <laughs> I get a lot of gifts from friends and family. From, for art books and stuff specifically. They, they know me very well. Um, so I took my cardigan off because it was getting kind of hot. Um, okay, so yeah, we've gone through my whole bookshelf pretty much. Right, Ellie? Um, and then all the stuff that's kind of like on the outside. So I guess um, we can go through my drawers. Um, I was debating whether or not I wanted to to get that deep, but I was like, you know what? Um, like whenever I watch, uh, what's it called? Like room tours and stuff. I love also seeing people like the inside of their, um, the drawers too, just cause I don't know. It's, it's, it's just kind of, I'm so curious. Like I want to know. So I was thinking, okay, maybe I'll, I'll show them. I'm sure people are wondering, so I will do it. And I will ha hydrate. Okay. Um, so, and I'm sorry if I'm if I'm like <gasps> like super shaky and stuff. I'm trying to be as still as po possible. But okay. Um, so, I the way that I put things in my drawers, I tend to like put things that I use often, kind of like towards the top, and then things that I don't use as often, kind of towards the bottom. So, this one. Okay. Um, I have, this is actually a, uh, I don't know if you've seen like ads for the, this. I actually, I think I saw my sister have something like this, but it's kind of like a, a tripod thing, like a tripod that you can like stick to your phone and it's kind of like a card size, but like a portable tripod. So I thought I'd pick one up just in case I wanted, if I was feeling brave enough to film while I'm out on the go. Um, I have some uh, like note paper and stuff for like, I don't know if, if I'm on a phone call and I need to like write something down really quick. Uh, this is my wallet, um, not designer or anything. I actually got it from like basically a dollar store. It's called Miniso um, and I've had it for like ever but it's actually holding up pretty well. And of course it has a little bunny in it and it's pink. Uh, calculator, just some like 
a lip balm and stuff like a little hand mirror hand sanitizer and then i also keep my like nail polish stuff i always um i always paint my nails the exact same color i don't know i'm just kind of like a creature habit as most of you know but um this is brown bear by sally hansen okay so yeah that's uh that's my first drawer So this is, I love this drawer. Um, so I had a huge like stationary phase um, when I was in university, specifically because I was super into the whole like study blur, like study, just like people who post things about studying and their study notes and like bullet journaling and stuff um, when I was in university. So I, I built up quite the collection of like washi tapes and like little like sticky notes and things like that. Um, I have some like pretty interesting ones, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, I just kind of like keep them all here. I have some just kind of like normal sticky notes too. Um, and then some stickers and other stuff. I think this is actually, these are bookmarks. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. So that's kind of like my stationary drawer. Okay, this is another stationary drawer, the less cute stationary, but still necessary. Um, so yeah, like paper clips, tape, staplers, like things like that. And then I actually, okay, this box is super cool and I'm gonna show you why. So um, some of you know that I studied geology when I was uh, in university. And this is my like little geology kit um, that I would bring to every lab. Um, and we were all kind of expected to, to um, what's it called? Like always make sure we have these items on hand, but actually maybe not this. Why do I have tape in here? <laughs> Is this, okay, maybe, okay, hold on. Let me, let me remove these two. <laughs> okay, so I have my hand lens. So this is kind of like, um, yeah, just to, to take a close look at hand samples to see um, what kind of rocks, or sorry, what kind of minerals are in there so I can classify them. Uh, this is kind of like a scratch plate uh, just to see, because you can also classify rocks based off of the color they give off and also whether or not they give off color, period. Um, so it's kind of just like this like ceramic uh, scratch plate. Um, you can scratch test things for hardness, so a piece of glass, um, as you can see, I scratch lots of stuff on there. Um, what else? A magnet to see if the, the rock is magnetic. You can also scratch test with a piece of, like, I guess, iron, so a nail, copper, copper penny. And then I also have a pin. That was more for like, um, uh, I can't remember what we called it. Yeah, there was, I, I had to like put, put a pin through, I can't, I honestly can't remember. My memory is failing me, and then, uh, uh, this is kind of like a, what's it called? Like, um... You can check the size of grain, like to help classify the sizes of grain. So very coarse, coarse, um, classify the roundness of the rock, all that kind of stuff. So um, I this was very well loved as well, as you can tell. <laughs> and yeah, so this is like my little handy dandy geology kit that I would bring with me to school every day, to all my labs. And yeah, it's just kind of like, I kept it because it's a good memory, is a big, big part of my life. Hopefully you learned a little bit about geology. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I, uh, so as part of my study blur phase, I also um, collected a lot of, like, I'm sure you've seen these. Um, like mild, mild liner highlighters, kind of like pastel-y highlighters, um, pastel-y gel pens and stuff to make my, my study notes pretty. 
Um, so yeah, I kind of just like put all my spare stationary like markers. I think these are all mild liners. Of course, it's an Asumi Kokodashi <laughs> um, pen case. I have another one. This one's pretty old. Um, pencil crayons. I used to do a lot more like inking, like um, uh, when I did uh, watercolor on paper. This is another kind of like, um, <laughs> uh, I have some like watercolor pens and stuff. And then um, this is just like all gel pens. Yeah. And then, um, so my favorite, uh, I'll actually pull it out. So my favorite pen to use, and I've just been using them for years now, is uh, these Muji. This one specifically, I think it's the point three. Oh gosh. Focus, focus, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, these Muji, I'm sure you've seen them before. They're pretty popular. Um, Muji pens. I use them all the time. I've gone through so many of them to the point where I was like, I feel bad throwing away the full the full pen. So I started buying off of Amazon um, just like refills and th these have been working great. Okay. And then the last drawer here. So um, this is just a cable for my heated blanket. I just kind of like throw it in here. Um, and then these, okay, so file, just like general stationery. I mentioned in one of my videos, I used to work at a law firm. Um, for like three years, I was a records and information analyst. And so um, I had my own business card and everything. So I still have a crap ton. Um, I just kept them. Okay, so that is, um, these are all the drawers from my, uh, desk area, my, my smaller drawers, so I'm gonna head over to this side, um, and very similar to my smaller drawers, I put things that I use most often near the top, and then things, uh, that I use less often near the bottom, so starting with this one, okay. Uh, so these are my headphones. Um, I just keep them right here. I'm sure you've seen them before in past videos. Uh, they're just Soundcore. Inc I think it's Anchor. A-N-K-E-R. Soundcore. Um, they work great. They're great for no noise cancelling, but you can like, um, there's like a transparency mode too. And they're wireless. You can wire them as well. I think, um, yeah, you can wire them as well. Um, and yeah, they have a mic and audio and they're great. Highly recommend. Uh, and of course they're pink because pink is obviously the best option. <laughs> um, okay, so this is a planner. Um, I still write, handwrite my planner, uh, especially for like tasks that I have to do. Maybe not so much like appointments and stuff, I'll put them in my phone, but um, for things that like I, I am planning to work on, I like th to write them down. Um, I just feel like it helps me like remember them better or I don't know. I just prefer to write down my, my, uh, my tasks and what I plan to do each day. So I do use the journal, bullet journal method. And of course I pick a cute, <laughs> journal or agenda with little bunnies all over it and yeah um that's kind of um what the the bullet journal method looks like like you can um put little uh, i think this was i was doing some coursework online but yeah um yeah i like to to hand write my agendas it just makes me happy and then this is my journal, or my current journal. So uh, you saw my other journals up there on my bookshelf. Um, I am currently alternating between pink and uh, like baby green. And this is just like a moleskin journal. Um, and yeah, so I'm on the green. And uh, maybe I'll, I can open it up a little bit just to show you. It's, it's difficult using one hand. Um, oh gosh, okay, 
um, yeah, just uh, lots, lots of writing. Um, I like date them. I like to put the moon phase on there. It's just like become a thing. And uh, yeah, that's my my current journal. Okay, um, this is my pen case. Um, I got this from. This is actually kind of new. If I can open it. I think this was handmade in Japan. I picked it up from a, a kind of like a lifestyle, Japanese lifestyle store called Umu, U, Umumu, I don't know. It's kind of like Daiso if you've heard of it, but we don't have Daiso where I live. So, um, but I went to Umumu and um, yeah, I just write with my, uh, my Muji pen. I think I peeled off the sticker because I used this so much and I just refill it with ink, but it works. Uh, this, okay, so I was uh, test printing my comic pages just to see how legible my my font was, my handwritten font, because uh, at some point I was thinking, oh my god, what if it's too small to read once it's printed full size, right? Um, so I started printing out of like, just like, just like, Paranoia. Um, I did have to actually adjust all of my font uh, sizing just because it was a little bit too small. Um, but I'm glad I, I tested it out earlier rather than later. Um, and then underneath, I actually haven't used this in a long time. Honestly, this should be in a lower shelf, but I just had room here. But this is um, it's a scanner. I used to use this more when I would scan my watercolor paintings um uh to digitize them and stuff but i honestly haven't really touched this in a very long time so but yeah um i don't know who knows maybe i'll go back to traditional one day uh, and it'll be nice to have okay okay so this is like my paper drawer um so this is like my big watercolor or I so I tend to buy mixed media paper um just because I don't know I, I like to mix like watercolor and pencil crayon sometimes or I, I used to um back there uh, I just save my envelopes that I get from my sister's patreon um I'm I'm a, an honorary member of my sister's uh, monthly patreon post club um, I, hold on, let me show you some of her stuff because it is amazing and you should all become patrons. Um, this is from this month. Isn't that pretty? You should all become patrons, okay? Um, that's from this month. Hold on, let me show you. She just started it, so there have only been two so far. I'm still trying to decide what I want to do with them. That's why I'm, yeah, I'm just kind of saving them in my paper drawer for now, but, um, and yeah. Aren't they gorgeous? You should join. Anyways, yeah. So, uh, I'm just, um, saving them on my paper, in my paper drawer for now. Uh, I have some origami paper. I used to do kind of like scrapbooking and stuff as well. <laughs> I've had very many crafty phases. I'm sure all of you creative people have similar experiences, but um, yeah, just like color paper. I think I have some more like, there's, I'm sure you can see, there's like more color paper and pattern paper down there for, for um, bullet journaling and scrapbooking type stuff. So yeah, paper drawer. Okay, this is, uh, I guess, like, my art supply drawer. So, um, yeah, I, I did keep all my paints. Um, I had a very short stint. I think I actually got this as a gift for my sister, maybe? Um, some gouache. Um, very similar to watercolor, aside from it being, um, like, opaque. So I did play around with gouache for a little bit. Um... My favorite watercolors are same same brand, Holbein, but uh, watercolor, obviously. Um, so I did buy the big Holbein set. Um, my friend bought, bought me some inks to, to try. Um, for a very long time, I was using like just kind of student 
um, quality watercolor. So the Winsor Newton um, palette. This actually, I used it so much and honestly, like it's so nice to, how do I open this thing? <laughs> um, I used it uh, cause it's just so portable. It just kind of looks like that. Super cool. Um, and you can kind of like, uh, use it kind of like that, or you can put it on the other side. I think you can pull it out a bit more to mix paint and stuff. Yeah, there's like a, a tray on the, on the bottom and the top that you can mix paints on. So it's just like, just super portable and cool. So I did, uh, I used it a lot. Um, same thing with, uh, I have the Sakura Koi watercolor palette. Um, uh, as you can see, <laughs> I forgot about this. Um, just to, to show how all of the colors look when they're mixed together and stuff. I made myself like a little chart and uh, also very portable um, palette. Um, and then, ooh, okay, so this is my, this is my, my main one. So this is where I put all my Holbein watercolors in. Uh, I also did some, uh, put my gouache, uh, just the white one, just to, to cover up mistakes. But, uh, yeah, uh, to re reactivate, all you need to do is just wet it up and, and you're good to go. Yeah, this is such a, a trip down memory lane. I haven't done traditional uh, watercolor painting in so long, so it's kind of a, it's nice to kind of go go back and look through all of my paints and stuff. Um, oh, and this is a just like a, a color wheel for color theory and stuff that I picked up, I think at an art store or something. Yeah, um, and then I have some other kind of like random um like things that i tried so i tried some watercolor crayons which is really fun um watercolor pastels and then i think i actually have watercolor brush pens oh yeah yeah this was a i think it was a gift i'm pretty sure it was a gift but everybody knows that i um i've always loved watercolor the look of watercolor so yeah everything is watercolor Okay. Oh, this is another, okay. So, um, kind of like my stationery, like my washi, um, tape and my sticky notes and stuff. I love collecting like letter paper, like stationery letter paper. Um, and whenever I go travel to Japan, I will pick, uh, I will always go and pick some new ones up because, um, rather than going out to buy birthday cards and stuff for occasions, I just like, like to have, I don't know, just like cute um, letter paper and like just empty paper and I'll, I'll just write whatever message, just kind of like multi-purpose letter sets. But um, yeah, I have a, I have quite the collection. I have even uh, this kind of like derpy ninja dude. Um, and the Umumu store by my house, the Japanese lifestyle store, um, I discovered also has some letter papers, so um, I found they have these like mini, mini letter papers, which I was so excited about, so I had to go get some. I think they even had, well, this was actually from a different store. Oh yeah, just like these little fish and cat and stuff. Super cute. Um, and then I also keep uh, like spare Christmas cards and stuff, and then uh, some tissue paper for like, uh, packing presents and gifts and stuff. And yeah. Okay, this drawer. <laughs> um, I, so I'm not really a sewer. I, w I would not call myself like a, um, like a sewer by any means, but I do, I do do my own alterations um, because I'm pretty short, um, like not terribly short, but uh, I am 5'3". And so oftentimes when I buy like shirts or especially pants, 
and skirts they they're always way too long so um i will hem them or i'll i'll make my own alterations rather than spend a lot of money to bring them to um the seamstress uh uh or the the alteration shop so yeah this is kind of just like my my sewing junk drawer uh, I, I did make a, a costume last Halloween. Um, I did, it was like toadette. Yeah, I did toadette. So just like some spared fabric from that costume and um, yeah. Okay, and final drawer. So this is uh, also very similar to the bottom drawer over there, um, but this is kind of like, spare stationary stuff like um printer paper i have a what are, what's this called a hole puncher hole, hole puncher um spare batteries old batteries that i need to um bring to the disposal for and then um these are like frames i guess wall hanging frame type stuff yeah i at some point was thinking of getting some prints and hanging them on my wall but i just ended up not um, and yeah, so, but I can use them later. Okay. Whew. Hold on, I'm gonna go grab some more water. Because <laughs> I've been talking a lot. Oh, and while I'm over here, so... So this is just a printer. Um, it's my boyfriend's printer. It's just like a normal home printer, nothing special, but uh, this is actually the only print I have up on my wall, if you could see it. Um, and I got it uh, from Little Thunder. I am obsessed with Little Thunder. I have been forever. Same with my little sister. Um, so of course I had to have a, a print of hers on my wall. Um, so yeah. Okay. Ellie, you good? You ready to leave? No, you're just gonna stick around? Okay, cool. All right, uh, last set of drawers. And actually, um, there's going to be a big surprise in this in this set. I hope you're all ready. Um, uh, you'll see. <laughs> so this is um, kind of kind of like a how do, I don't know. Um, not so much art related, just kind of like. Yeah, I, I don't know how to classify this set of drawers, but we will get right into it. So first drawer is, okay, I consider this like um, mostly like my gaming drawer. So, okay, so I told you all that my first console was a 3DS. So um, this is my first console. Uh, of course, I got the pink one. <laughs> Um, I put like a case on it uh, with macaroons, super cute. Um, I haven't touched it in ages, but um, I'm gonna keep hold of this because um, it's a very important memory in my life. And then, um, so I don't have like a full switch. I just got the switch light because honestly, the only reason I wanted to get it was um, for Animal Crossing. <laughs> I literally don't play any other games, but um. I got this like handmade case off of Etsy and I have to show you my switch light because I'm so proud of it. Hold on, let me, let me pull it out real quick. Okay, do you see this? Oh. Do you see this color? You all see this color, right? This is not a stock color, okay? This is real, it's not a skin, I can assure you. <laughs> I literally did surgery on my switch light. I bought a kit that basically you can, um, cause the only pink they have is this like very kind of dark coral kind of pink. And I, it's just like not my kind of pink, you know, I'm more of like a light pink girly. So um, I bought this like kit. I, it literally, I think it was off of Amazon as well, but um, you can, it, and honestly, it was the most scariest thing, uh, but you basically disassemble your whole sw switch light. You disconnect all the like wiring, like literally, like all, all you're left with at the very end is like the screen, I think, and like whatever computer backing like it has. And then you have to like put it back all together with the new, um, with the new case. And uh, first try, I put it back together and one of the joysticks wasn't working. And I was like, 
oh my god, I destroyed my switch light, but um, it was because I didn't um, push in one of the like, uh, one of the wires into the socket all the way, but uh, I, I'm glad I figured it out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so now I have this super cute custom switch. Ah! Okay, I, sorry, I had to, I had to show everyone because I'm very proud of it. Okay. Um, I have, yeah, a carry case, another carry case that I got when I first got it. And then this, okay, so I mentioned that I have some tarot cards. So these are, um, the car, the, my, the ones that I pretty much use exclusively. Um, I hand sewed this case, like, forever ago. Um, and these cards are so pretty. So this is a line strider. It's called the line strider deck. Oh gosh, sorry. Uh, um, and uh, yeah, it's like kind of watercolory, um, watercolor illustrations. Totally my vibe. <laughs> and the cards are just gorgeous. And I don't know, they just. Something, my intuition just works very well with them, and I've been using the, this set for, for years, um, so yeah, that is my, my tarot deck. And then the rest of what's in here, so it's kind of like some random stuff. I, uh, I used to take some Polaroids, um, and then these are just like Purikura from whenever I went to visit my family in Japan. Um, some like wedding and like Christmas party photos. Um, I, I, I was a part of like a Dungeons and Dragons um, campaign, one, uh, when I was in uh, university with actually a group of my geology um, friends. <laughs> so I had to get my own set of dice. Of course I got them pink. <laughs> um, my, oh my gosh, I love this thing. So my next door neighbor, we are both very introverted and we always joke about how sometimes like we want to like leave a social gathering but feel awkward to say anything because we don't want to be rude. So he got me this social battery pin. So whenever I go and visit, he literally lives like right next door. Um, whenever we go and visit, I'll like put this on and then throughout the night I'll slowly kind of like without saying anything, just lower the battery so they know, okay, she's ready. <laughs> she's ready to go to bed. <laughs> um, some spare, like, joy joystick covers for my Switch. Um, and then these. I have just some knickknacks, like keychains and crochet that my friend made me. Um, and then, uh, oh yeah, for, for my Switch, um, I used to collect these, uh, amiibo cards to get, like, items and have villagers visit your, uh, your, your village or your island or whatever. And yeah, okay, hold on, I'm just gonna put my, my mess away real quick. Okay, so that was the first drawer. Okay, are you all ready to see what is in drawer number two? This is going to come as a very big surprise to a lot of people. Um, I had, okay, ready? <laughs> ready? Ta-da! Okay, so um, I had, okay, growing up, a big part of my life was Tamagotchi. I, I think I got my first Tamagotchi in grade three and I was obsessed, like I cannot, begin to tell you. I was so involved online, like, there used to be Tamagotchi forms and chat rooms. I even made my own website. Like, it's, it's crazy. Um, I don't know if any of you are familiar with, like, Tamatalk. Um, I go on that chat room. I think it was only open on, like, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday evening, or I don't know, but I was in, I was in there. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, and so after some time, I just kind of, like, lost you know, touch with Tamagotchi. I grew, I got older, I went to university, and then um, I started finding, like, Tamagotchis are making a comeback online, probably around 2018 or so, 2017, and so I started, like, collecting them again, and so 
um, this is <laughs> this is the resulting collection. I have some very old ones. Um, these are like OG, um, like from the 90s, uh, like Angel Gachi. Um, I also have some like kind of limited edition. This one, the pixels are actually red, not the traditional um, black. Uh, this is kind of like the, I think it was like k tight like a uh, cell phone era <laughs> of Tamagotchi where you like are able to clip it to your, to your cell phone. Um, like generation two, generation one, I think. Like these are just like very early, like from the 90s. Yeah, Bandai 96, 97. Um, and this one, I actually, I got a lot of these from... Um, secondhand stores whenever I visit Japan. So if you're looking to collect uh, Tamagotchis, old Tamagotchis, um, secondhand shops are really, really good places like um, these two. Super old. And also in very good condition. Like people don't donate things in bad condition in Japan, which is so nice. Um, but um, these are like kind of forest, forest themed, very old Tamagotchi. I got from a secondhand shop. My giant Tamagotchi was also from a secondhand shop. Um, and then I also got newer ones, which I'm gonna be honest, are very, very, very expensive now. Um, I think they go for like somewhere between 60 and 80 dollars US, I'm pretty sure, but they are full color, um, full color screens backlit and everything. They're very, very high tech. Like it's crazy how far Tamagotchis have come. Um, but yeah, and then this one, I think this is a North American one I found at like, I don't know where I found it. Yeah, I just came across it. It's not my favorite, but I, I thought I'd pick it up because I was, I was having a phase and I was like collecting them. Also, uh, a lot of these I got off of eBay because you literally can't find them anywhere else, but yeah, okay, you found, <laughs> you've discovered a whole, whole other side of me. I'm not super into Tamagotchis anymore. Um, I'm definitely more of an Animal Crossing girly slash, I just like don't have a lot of time to play with them. And um, yeah, I'm, my heart is an illustration right now, at comic making illustration. So, but um, I will keep these because they make me happy. And sometimes I open the store just to, just to reminisce. Okay. And then here, hi Ellie. Um, this is kind of like my tech drawer, my tech junk drawer in a way. Um, I have, oh my gosh, I have some like really old technology, like my iPod. This is my first and only iPod I got as a gift when I was in grade seven. Um, and I, I freaking love the thing. I actually used it up till just a few years ago. Um, which is crazy, but yeah, it was starting to get really old. Um, some old phones. I think this is my first smartphone. Um, some like head headphones, like wired headphones. Um, old webcam. These are for my Huion tablet, my my monitor tablet. There's like a little pen stand. Um, old uh, like Polaroid camera film. That's probably. Oh no, it's not a- oh, okay, it just expired. I should probably uh, get rid of that. Um, some mic stuff. This is my old, uh, my old iPad Pro. Ooh, can you see? Yeah, my very first uh, old iPad Pro. I've just kind of kept it because, um, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, like, I used it to death, so it's just kind of nostalgic and I kind of want to hang on to it just just cause, um, and yeah, and then all my spare, uh, like, cables and wires. I tried to, uh, um, sort through them and get rid of the ones that I, I know were, like, were kind of duplicates and stuff, but, um, yeah. And then power bank. And then, of course, you have to keep your iPhone box because it's, like, super nice and how could you throw it away? <laughs> and I, yeah, I'm, like, saving it for when I, I don't know, to... To organize stuff like for example I think this is yeah this is an iPhone box it's nice to save boxes to help organize okay that's that Ellie she's like licking my leg <laughs> all right um oh okay I'm going to just 
shuffle over here super quick and show you this. And um, what's inside here? I was actually thinking of making a video of um, what is inside here because I kept all of my... Oh, it's going to be kind of dusty though. How do I even open it? Okay. Yeah, it's super dusty. But these are my sketchbooks from um, like growing up, like junior high, high school, early university. Um, and the drawings in here are like extremely old, um, but I thought it'd be maybe fun to, oh no, piece of, eh. I'm like cleaning while I'm giving you a tour. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it, I thought it'd be kind of fun to reminisce and show you all like how, how my really, really old art looked like um, from like probably more than 10 years ago. Um, that'd be a fun video to make, right? But yeah, uh, this is where I just keep all my super, super old art books. Okay, um, maybe, so this is, this is a closet. Um, there's nothing really interesting in here. I do, a <laughs> space heater. Um, I, I collect bags just, uh, either for like gifts, like to, to, I don't know, like for gifts or just to, I don't know, you never know. So I collect bags, um, yeah. Uh, some spare wrapping paper, this is my little sewing box, um, just like a clothing box. I'll, I just kind of like put clothes that I know I'm gonna donate in here so, until it gets full and then I'll go bring it somewhere uh, to the donation place. And then this is just like, I don't know, like a bunch of random, I don't even know, like cleaning, like air can uh, eyeglass cleaner, <laughs> like, there's, there's not really much, a uh, sense to these drawers. This is more like a travel drawer, first aid kit, um, fanny packs, a converter type thing for power plug, and then this is just, like, I'm not gonna open it up, but it's just, like, spare, um, like, extension cords and just, like, tech stuff. Um, up here, just like spare backpacks and stuff. And then on this side, um, my yoga mat, my yoga blocks, um, more like reusable bags. I do keep all my, like this is kind of like my filming stuff, my tripods. I have a, a what's this called? A ring light or whatever that I haven't really used, but just in case. And then. Um, this is my work bag for when I go to work. I just kind of put it away in here when I'm not using it. Whew! That's it! I think that's it. Wow. Just kind of makes me realize how much stuff I have. <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Um, that was actually... Uh, it took longer than I thought it would. I don't know what I was expecting. Um, but yeah, it was actually really fun to film this. Um, I didn't really take a very good look at what was in my drawers and on my bookshelves before I filmed this. I just like very quickly checked to see if it was just like a complete mess. But um, uh, yeah, I hope you all learned maybe something new about me and some of my interests, um, some of the collections that I have. Uh, some of the books that I like to keep on my bookshelf. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing how I like organize things and um, yeah hopefully if I mean if you were thinking about redecorating or maybe trying to get some ideas for your own space uh, this helps you I don't know get some ideas and stuff and yeah that's uh, that's basically it. I did want to give you all a quick update on my webcomic so I am seriously, uh, I'm, I'm still trying to build up a backlog. I, I know I mentioned that, but, um, I'm really thinking I want to start posting it, uh, very soon here, probably within the next few weeks. So I am planning on, I really want to do a giveaway, um, especially because I'm getting very, very close to 10k subs on YouTube, which is actually crazy to me, but I really want to do a giveaway. Um, I was thinking maybe 
a, a print, like art prints and stickers or something. Um, I've never printed stickers and art prints before, so I'm going to have to figure that out. But I have my little sister to help me, <laughs> thank God. Um, but I wanted it to be kind of like a, a special, um, you know, just like celebration of 10k on YouTube and also the release of my webcomic. So um, I hope you're all looking forward to that. I certainly am. Um, thank you so much again for watching. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please leave a like. Um, if you'd like to see more, please feel free to subscribe. And yeah, that's uh, basically it. So I will see you all next time. Okay.